how to remember words on wednesday i go to school again it's the beginning of the lesson one student says i started to read more i feel that it is good for me i can see how my grammar is better but i have a problem when i read i look up a new word in a dictionary then i continue reading sometimes when i see the same word again only 10 minutes later i don't remember the words and i have to look it up again can you help me to remember the words better our teacher says that it is an interesting question and she gives the explanation it is absolutely normal that you don't remember the new word immediately usually you will have to look up the words five time before you remember it there will be also words that you will have to look up 10 or 15 times these words are usually verbs when we learn a new word the word goes through phases only when you achieve the last phase you remember the word very well there are five of these phases let's have a look at them the first phase is the moment when you see the word for the first time and you don't know the word you look it up in the dictionary the second phase is the moment when you see the word that you have already looked up in the dictionary or head or sight in the past you know that you saw this word before but you still don't remember its meaning you look up the word again the third phase is the moment when you see the word again and you feel what i could mean but you are not sure for example you know that the word is some kind of object or some animal or word the fourth phase is the moment when you already know what the word mean when you see it but you are not able to recall the word when you want to say it when this phase happens the word as in your face you vocabulary The fifth phase is the moment when you are able to use the word when you speak. Now you can see there are five phases all together. Do you understand now why it is not possible to remember a new word when you see it for the first time? You would have to jump across all the phases with the first encounter with the word. You have to see or hear every word several times and let it go through all the phases until you get to phase number 5. You can be happy not only when you learn a new word perfectly but also when you get from one phase to the other. When it happens, you are closer to the final goal and it has to use the word without problems and everyday communication. All of this is interesting to me. I didn't know about these phases but it is all logical. It also happened to me that I look up a new word in the dictionary but 2 minutes later I didn't know what the word was and I had to look it up again. I felt stupid that I didn't remember the word. Now I know that it is absolutely okay not to remember the word forever when I see it for the first time. I need several encounters with the word before i can use the word well after school i go to my football training our coach tell us that there will be a match on saturday the school team will play against another school team from cambridge our coach tell me to come and play for the school team i am very happy and i am looking forward to the saturday match when you want to remember a new word You need to see or hear the word about 10 times. How to improve listening? The next day, I go to school again. One of the students has an important question. He wants to know how to improve his listening skills. He wants to know what the best approach is. Our teacher say, "Thank you for your question. Good listening skills are very important for communication." If you don't understand what people are saying, it will be difficult for you to speak with them. There are a lot of materials on the internet for students of English. Some students can have a problem with finding the right listening materials for them. Let's have a look at what you should listen to. 
There are two types of materials which you can listen to. You can listen to some audio or you can watch a film. These are quite different materials and different rules apply to them. When you listen to some audio, you should know 95% of the words are more. If the audio has a lot of new words, read the text first if possible and make sure you know all the words. When you practice listening, you practice getting information from a spoken language. You don't try to learn new words. Of course, sometimes you can learn new words, but it is not the main goal. When you listen, concentrate on getting information from spoken English. It is important to use materials at your level of English. For example, you can use books and simplified English which contain an audio recording. I really recommended these books to you. They are fantastic because you can choose a book at your level of English. When you have such a book, read the book first and then listen to the recording at home or when you travel. Thank you.